I'm using the Scar Watcher 102 4 inch uh, uh, F um, 500 millimeter uh, telescope. It's an achromatic telescope to look at it more. This is the telescope itself, and this is objective lens with the uh, baffles inside the tube. I have mounted it on a, a Sky T2 um, altazimuth mount, and as you can see, it's quite fits easily there without any problem. And now we are going to see and look at the moon. And you can see also actually the earth shine. That is the earth uh, illuminating the darker side of the moon, that dark portions of the moon. This is a very high magnification TMB 3.2 millimeter. You can see Owens Bridge at the Mare Chrysium in the lower part of the center. It is such a beautiful view with the plus 32 millimeter, the Orion Nebula. And this video doesn't do justice. This is the image that you could see when you were looking at the Edmund Scientific Catalog showing you the different eyepieces, how they show the Orion Nebula. That's the thrill of childhood coming back. Pluses are the best eyepieces you can ever have. Looking at the Orion Nebula with this uh, four-inch short tube refractor Sky Watcher, 500 millilit millimeter focal length and 102 millimeter objective length, just a thrill of the childhood when you look at those catalogs in the magazines in the catalog of the Edmund Scientific comes back to me those beautiful images of the Great Orion Nebula. Puzzles are the best. RKE was the eyepiece that the Edmund Scientific used to show that. But this puzzle is really good, it's really good. This is Ostara 32mm. You can use a 40mm one also to see. Let me use that 40mm also. This is the 40mm Ostara. And when you look at this, that the Orion Nebula, the eyepiece disappears. You have to hold your eye above it, not just exactly at it, above it. It's like RKA. RKE, sorry. It's amazing, the beauty of it. Probably one of the best eyepieces that uh, money can buy. The eyepiece doesn't exist. Just the rim of it is there. Visually it is superb. You see a lot of more stars than this. The video is not that sensitive. The camera is not as sensitive as the human eye. Now let me bring the original RKE 28mm uh, from the Edmund Scientific. Okay, this is the RKE 28mm. It has a higher magnification than the 40mm. And the image is floating. You don't see that the eyepiece at all. And the image is floating. <laughs> If you know me, you know that I have a lot of eyepieces. 
and I have a lot of uh, premium eyepieces. But the RKE and the uh, RK twenty eight millimeter and uh, Ostara forty millimeter eyepieces or something else. It is out of this world. It is out of this world. The eyepiece disappears. You're looking at a porthole to the space. This is a spacewalk experience. We are in this space. M42 Great Orion Nebula is the most beautiful sight with these two eyepieces. And I know that the tall 25mm plus hole the Russian eyepiece is also like RKE. That's another amazing eyepiece. That's if you can get that one, it comes usually with the tall telescopes, and that is amazing. If you can get any of the higher magnification, um, higher focal length one, that is also good. What you saw in that image was my hand holding the eyepiece and guiding the camera to where to look I don't think you will need a teleview or anything like that if you have RKE or Puzzle 40mm of the Jostara all you need, or the tall 25mm, they are amazing eyepieces, such a top quality. I'm using the RKA to look at the M35 um, open cluster in the Gemini, amazing beauty. I forget about the Teleview, I have tested just Teleview with that, <laughs> and I tested Nirvana. They're good, don't take me wrong, but if you want the magic of astronomy, take RKE 28 or Ostara 32 or 40 or tall 25mm eyepiece. That's the magic of the astronomy in your hands on your telescope. Nothing can compare with that. Oh, oh I cannot believe this. <laughs> it's such a beautiful. I found the love of astronomy <laughs> with these uh, images when I was a kid. Now look at that. That's amazing beauty. All in all, I can say this uh, four-inch telescope, Skywatcher 102 uh, Star Traveler is Aquaman. It's perfect for astronomy. Perfect grab-and-go telescope. You don't need more than this. <laughs> If you want, we want just to introduce yourself to astronomy, fall in love with it, take this telescope best. It's a refractor, lovely refractor.